Hey guys, you're watching Theo Joe Tech. I'm Joe. Now the latest wireless standard is 802.11ac, and this is actually a pretty recent one. It only came out in the last couple of years, but I wanted to think about what's going to come after AC. Even though AC is incredibly fast, up to a gigabit, what can we see from the next generation? So there's actually several other wireless standards that you probably haven't heard of. Some of them are still in development. A couple are already released. Now, the one I'm going to talk about first is 802.11ad. This was also called Y-Gig. Now, this was actually released a year before AC, and it's capable of up to 6 gigabit. But even though it has that great speed, it wasn't adopted for regular home use, I think, because one main reason, which is understandable, is that the range is really not that great through walls. It can't penetrate through walls because it's a 60 gigahertz wireless frequency, whereas normal routers are about 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, which the lower frequencies are able to penetrate through walls and go farther in a home setting. Now there's another standard coming soon called 802.11ah. Again, this is probably not going to be used in a home setting, but this wireless standard actually uses a 0.9 gigahertz, very low frequency band. This lower frequency has a few notable advantages such as lower power consumption and a lot less time required to initially connect to it. But the biggest advantage is that it is extremely long range. Now theoretically this would be able to cover about a kilometer sized area and this probably would be used to offload cellular tower connections. So if a lot of people are using their cell phones it might be able to be used to connect some of those people instead of using cell towers. Also, this would be good for rural areas where data is not readily available, so you could use it there as well. However, there is a downside, which is that each channel in the band can only transfer about 100 kilobits per second, which obviously is very slow compared to the other standards, but there would be those purposes that I mentioned before. But there is one more wireless standard that I think is probably going to be the next home use generation of Wi-Fi, and that's called 802.11ax. And the reason I'm assuming that is because this standard would be using the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz spectrum, which is what all routers use today. Also, it's estimated to come out around 2019, which makes sense. N came out in 2009, so it seems like every five years or so, a new one comes out. So that would line up nicely. Of course, at this point, we can really only speculate because it's still in the very early stages of proposal and development. So the only thing we really know is that it was proposed under the name High Efficiency Wireless LAN. However, if we look at the proposal itself, we can actually get kind of a few clues as to what this wireless standard might look like. Reading right from the proposal, it says, unlike previous amendments where the focus was on improving aggregate throughput or data transfer, this amendment focuses on improving metrics that reflect user experience. It then mentions area throughput, which of course you can interpret as range. It says improvements will be made to support environments such as wireless corporate office, outdoor hotspot, and dense residential apartments and stadiums. So if we interpret that, it kind of sounds like they're really going to be focusing not just on increasing into huge speeds and range, but rather increasing the reliability, especially when a lot of people are going to be connecting at the same time. Later down in the proposal, it talks about the average throughput per station, which just is the data rate that each router or whatever can handle. It says improvement values in the range of five to 10 times are targeted depending on the technology and scenario. If that's true, that means by the time it comes out, we could be seeing five or 10 gigabit Wi-Fi. It's obviously still a long way off, but I think by that time, that kind of speed is probably gonna be necessary. I mean, we're already seeing in the US gigabit internet rollout, and even in local area networks, video and streaming and large files are claiming more and more bandwidth. But like I just said, it's not just gonna be useful for internet connections, because I doubt that even by then we'll have five gigabit internet, but even for local connections, if you're streaming files between computers or sending large files and backing stuff up, that's where it would really shine. Especially considering smart home devices, we don't even know the type of technology that's gonna be using data even within our own network. So I think by 2019, it's gonna be really useful to have that kind of speed. Case in point, even today with Steam machines and Windows 10 and Xbox One, you can stream games between TVs 
and computers in your own home. So by 2019, I think we're going to be using a lot more data. But anyway, I think that's enough speculation for now. We're just going to have to wait four more years to find out what happens. But if you guys want to talk about this now, we can all talk about that in the comments section. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think about this. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you did like it. And if you want to check out some other videos on the right hand side, you can just click them or look in the description for the same link, such as if you're on a phone. You can subscribe because I try to make new videos three times a week, so it should be worth it. You can also hit me up on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter all day, especially after I release a new video. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.